So once again, this is what the Network Protector app looks like. Let me show you what happens. I'll firstly disable Network Protector. So it's currently disabled. I'll go to this user VM in the network and connect to various websites and see what happens. So firstly, I'll connect to a good website, so hp.com. I'm able to connect to that website. How about facebook.com? I'm able to connect to that website. Now let's go to a bad or malicious website, so anyhome.ca. Now rather than connecting to real malicious websites, I've created these fake little websites to represent malicious domains. But from the network's point of view, these are the actual websites. I've set up a DNS server that's resolving those domain names. Here's another one. Please don't go to these websites at home because you'll probably be infected with some kind of virus. So how to do it man.com is another malicious website. And as you can see, I'm able to connect to those websites as well as websites such as Facebook and HP. Now I'll enable Network Protector, go back to my user VM. I'm going to flush the DNS cache so that we do a resolution to get to the domains. So hp.com succeeds. Facebook, however, is redirected. And when we go to a malicious website, we get a warning message. So something's happened. Here's how to do it. Man.com, we're being redirected to a warning page. So by simply enabling Network Protector, I've been able to redirect users to different sites in the network.